Welcome to the OC Varsity Girls Hoop Show. I'm Jonathan Camus, being joined by Carlos Arias. Carlos, how was your Christmas? Excellent. It's time for some hoops now. All right. I got some new kicks. I'm excited about that. Uh, you can't talk about girls basketball without talking about Modern Day. They went to Arizona last week and got it done. And the thing about the Monarchs this year, Carlos, they're doing it with a different style of play this year. Yeah, you know, uh, the, the Samuelson sisters, Barney and Katie Lou, transferred in from Edison. And this was after Modern Day lost three girls to the Pac-12 who graduated, uh, Naira Fields, Jordan Adams, Alexis Williamson. So you're thinking, oh, it's re rebuilding time at Modern Day. Here we go again. <laughs> the Samuelson girls come in, a ton of talented young players. Uh, Modern Day starts three sophomores, one junior and one senior. Their bench is loaded with young players. They go to Arizona. In their bracket, there's seven nationally ranked teams. They knock them all out. They beat the number one team in the nation, St. Mary's. They beat uh, Riverdale Baptist. They beat Osening, I think is how you call it, from New York. And take the whole tournament title home. I mean, that is some impressive stuff. Yeah. Good quality wins all on the road. And speaking of the Monarchs, we caught up with them earlier. We went in there and we were kind of the underdogs and we weren't expecting to do as well as we did. And well, we, we all believed in ourselves and we just, we went out there and we played freely and we played with our hearts and we pulled out with the win. We have a young team and I'm a senior, but I'm new also, so it's kind of different. But I still think everyone on the court, our leaders, and we all come together. Even the bench plays a big part in everything too. You guys are going to have a big old bullseye on your backs for the rest of the year because there's no hiding anymore that modern day is good. Um, tell me about going into the Trinity League. You haven't played in there yet, but you know there's a lot of great teams in there. Yeah, a lot of tough competition, but I think if we just keep playing the way we do and play better on defense that we could do and press better, we can get the win. All right. Can't believe Lou's only a sophomore. <laughs> there's a big green light in the modern day gym now as far as shooting three pointers. Um, you know, what was a bad shot maybe a year ago is a good shot today. And it's contagious. You know, everybody wants to get involved and they do and it's it's a fun thing. All right, thanks to the Monarchs for those interviews. But uh, Modern Day's off this week, Carlos. They're practicing hard, but they're off this week. A lot of county teams are not. There's some great tournaments going on this week. Tell me about a couple of them. Okay, the first one I want to talk about, there's a ton of tournaments yeah. going on, all right? But the first one is the Larry Doyle OC Championships, and that's being played at Edison and Marina. And in recent years, they would had separate tournaments, but they've now assembled to rejoin each other again and yeah. put on this tournament. And it's looking pretty good. Yeah. Uh, Corona Centennial is one of the good non-county teams out there. Mm -hmm. um, Laguna Hill, San Clemente, uh, Edison, of course, and Orange Lutheran. Now, Orange Lutheran is the one that I'm looking at. Yeah. Uh, they just came off the Santa Barbara tournament. Uh, they went out there and won the tournament champions, beat Bishop Montgomery of Torrance to win the title. Okay. So, no joke. Yeah, I know Kevin Kiernan was talking about the Trinity League, saying that, hey, it's just going to be another beast of a challenge this year. we got more tourneys coming up here. Yeah, you know, uh, we just talked about Olu and that, uh, you know, Larry Doyle tournament. And the Garden Grove tournament this year, it has Foothill, Seegerstrom, uh, Westminster, um, Rosary. I mean, we're talking some serious teams. Uh, Garden Grove hasn't been that uh that deep in recent years and now it's it's looking pretty good this year okay i know of a couple two actually top 10 schools that aren't in tournament play but are on the road traveling yeah um uh troy is going out to uh, naples florida to play in the naples daily news shootout and uh this team gets a lot of uh really talented teams from the south and from the east coast okay. so uh troy goes out there every year and they really challenge themselves it's like you know another nike tournament of champions but on the east coast um, and then Brea Linda is going up north to Palo Alto to play in the uh, Coaches versus Cancer Eastside College Prep Classic. Sorry if I got that right. No, you memorized it. That was pretty good. <laughs> yeah. Um, so uh, Brea and Brea is coming off last week where they won their bracket at the Nike Tournament Champions. So, yeah. so they're looking really hot. Uh, Brea, a lot of new faces over there. They lost a lot to graduation, but Coach uh, Kim Cram Torres thinks they're going in the right direction now. That's awesome. All right. Thanks to. Carlos Arias at Los OC Varsity. This will be the first and last show of 2012. We survived the Mayan apocalypse, Carlos. I can't believe it. But hey, we're coming back in 2013. Yes, we are. Have a happy new year, everybody. Thanks for watching.